So we have our main composting toilets, which are stationary, we can't move them around, at our two main sites on the nursery, and they're used daily. They have a container which collects all the liquid waste, which we then dispose of appropriately down our own toilet and sewers up top, and the solid waste collects in a big basin, which then eventually rots down. Um, the next one we tend to use is more of a camping toilet. It's a solid structure, you can't fold it down, but that stays up at our yurt, which is like our area where we meet children in the morning, and that has a bag which goes inside with some absorbable powder, which we can then tie up at the end of the day and dispose of that appropriately. The third one we tend to use is a bivy glue, which is fab. We use that if we're out and about anywhere else on the site. It's a slightly bigger toilet, again, designed for adults and children, and it folds down, so it's got a constant section. You can push it down, fold it neatly into a bag, and again, that has another disposable bag in it, which has the crystals in it, which absorbs the liquid. So when that begins to get full, we can tie it up, change it up a new bag, and then dispose of the waste appropriately. And the last one we use is a potette toilet which is a little one based for toddlers who are potty training, but we also use it for some of our older ones as well, um, which again has little legs that flips out and you can put a little bag in. You can buy specific ones that have a little pad at the bottom and that absorbs the liquid. And again, that can be tied up and disposed of appropriately. They're also quite handy because the flaps straighten out, put onto the bigger toilet seats. So the children who don't like a big toilet seat, we can put that on top as like a little smaller seat for them to be. And then they, they use those more comfortably. So all our children, we obviously know really, really well. So we know which children need help at the toilet. Some are completely independent and happy to go on their own. Others need a bit more support. So for those, we make sure we go with them. And so we're outside the toilet with them at all times. And if they need any help inside, then we can go and support them with that. As children are learning how to use a potty, we'll go with them and help them. So we'll help with their layers, help with them, particularly in the wintertime. It's difficult having lots of waterproofs and thick thermals on. So we'll always be around to help them with their layers and to make sure they can pull them down and pull them up again easily. And sometimes help position them on a toilet as well so they feel comfortable. And it's about doing whatever we can to make it easy for them. So it's talking to the parents, talking to the families. If there's anything they do at home that we can bring into nursery and do here, we'll do it for every individual child to make it as easy as possible.